G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now rolling out to SharePoint now are some amazing features uh, that are going to enhance the authoring experience on your SharePoint news and pages. That's what we are going to take a deep dive into today to see how these new features and functionalities are gonna enhance the way that you create some engaging content nice and quickly and easily. So let's dive in. You can see that I'm in a SharePoint communication site here, uh, default, Nothing special about this site, it's just been created. I'm gonna pop this home page into edit mode and we're going to see a new enhanced experience. You can see on the right hand side here that we now have a uh, what's called a toolbox panel. You can see that we've got um, the web parts, we've got stock images, and we've also got our section templates as part of this toolbox. Now we can expand on these. For example, down here in our section templates, we can see uh, all of our section templates by clicking that link and we're taken into an experience just for the section templates. I'll hit the back to toolbox. We can see more media for our stock images where we can search and we can see our recent um, media as well. I'll hit the back button again, the web parts. We can see all our web parts here. We can search, we can change the view uh, and we can also change the category as well. So if I'm looking for uh, quick links, I can just type in quick links there and you can see that I've got access to the quick links. Now when I select the web part, it's going to insert that to the section that I'm currently in. I'm just gonna delete these web parts on the page and let's focus now on the page canvas itself. You'll notice also that these little plus buttons which were over on the left hand side previously have now become more prominent and are now in the center of the page where I can add a section. You can see that we've got a, a nice little uh, user experience there where we can hit the plus and we can add our section. Now I'm just gonna choose a one column section here and now what I'm gonna do is use the toolbox and add a web part. So I wanna add the text web part because there's a, another feature of the toolbox here um, that works with uh, text and images that give us some design ideas also uh, when we're using those particular web parts. So I've just added the text web part onto the page. You'll see also in a smaller panel here, I've got a little icon that, that gives me some design ideas. So when I click on design ideas, now it only works for uh, text and images at this stage, but you can see that it comes with and pre-populate some ideas to get you started. So. If I click on this one here, we've got a background image, we've got a, a, a heading and also some example text. I can also uh, click this see more ideas and I'm going to be presented with a few more ideas as well. And you can see that I can flick through and have a look at how they look on the page as well. Now it also works with images. So what I'm gonna do with my, sec uh, with my section here, I'm just gonna go to the properties uh, of this particular section and we're going to make this into a two column layout. Now on in this uh, section on the right hand side, I'm going to add an image. So we'll pick an image from our recent images and then we'll insert that on the page. So we've got two columns, text on the left and an image on the right. You'll also notice the layout or the vertical, uh, the, the vertical alignment in this web part here. Uh, sorry, in the sections here, you can see that this uh, text web part is vertically in the middle depending on what's uh, adjacent to it in the, the right hand column. Now that's also a new little feature of the properties of the section itself. So if I jump into the properties, you can see that we've got a new alignment panel or an alignment section in our properties pane where I can say, do I wanna align things to the top, to the center or to the bottom? And you can see that it changes dynamically and accordingly. Now, if I jump back into the design ideas, what's going to happen here is that we're going to be presented because we've got an image and text with some different layout and different design ideas based on what we've got. So you can see I've got, uh, I can flick things around and I've got now the image on the left and the text on the right. And here I've got uh, a little bit of a different layout there and I can go image on top, text underneath, and we can go see more ideas. And again, we've got some different layout ideas there. Now, 
Something that has rolled out recently as well is in particular in this image web part is the ability to have our different image shapes. So we can change the shapes of our images that we do uh, that we do insert in onto our page. So if I grab on um, what I might do is just grab a, a bigger image to, to show a different example. So we can see here I've got this shape and I can go square, I can go circle and I can change the shape of my image so that to, to give the you know a different visual representation of that uh, of that image so I might delete this one here and now I'm going to be presented with additional design ideas on the right hand side you can see that I can uh, change and it dynamically shows what that's going to look like when I when I flick through the uh, the examples there now I'm going to leave it with this one I'm going to change this image back to a teardrop like that and then I'm going to hit the republish button and then we now uh, have our, our section uh, nice and uh, looking nice and um, engaging there. So some really nice features uh, rolling out when uh, when we're editing our pages and our news that is really going to help you get up and running and get uh, a nice layout um, nice and quickly and easily to really uh, enhance the look and feel of your pages. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.